All month long, WMAR2 News is going in focus on unsolved cases of people who are missing in Maryland. And this morning, we're looking at the case of Chris Dietrich. He was last seen in Elkton nearly two and a half years ago. WMAR2 News' Mark Roper is live this morning with the details on this case. Good morning, Mark. Good morning, Megan. Chris was last seen on May 29, 2019. He was being treated for melanoma in his leg, and he also needs a liver transplant, and his family reported him as missing when he didn't show up for his cancer treatment in Baltimore a few days later on June 5, 2019. Chris Dietrich is loved and missed by his younger sister, Sarah Dietrich. We knew we, each other had each other no matter what. And there was no judgments ever from any of us, you know, either side. Like, you could tell me anything, I could tell him anything. He was my best friend. He was my big brother. My Elkton boy. Police Sergeant Ronald Odom recalls the last time Chris was seen in Elkton was on May 29, 2019. Uh, the last known location that we have him at is the health department across the street from our, our station. We have him on video there. We know he left there. After that, we don't know where he went. Chris's sister Sarah did a bit of investigating of her own and talked to a couple of people who knew him in Elkton. And he said they'd, he talked to them later and he went towards Locust Lane and they went a different way and that was it. No one ever saw him or heard from him again. His phone turned off probably within the hour of the last time he was seen. Chris's family says he had a life on the streets, but lived behind this house on Locust Lane. Police searched Meadow Park, where Chris liked to go on occasion near the cow pond. But besides following up on a few tips about the places Chris would visit or the people he would hang out with, Sergeant Odom says the leads on this case have since gone cold. Everything that we've gotten up until this point has been followed up on interviews. We've done search warrants. Um, everything following up on social media. Um, we just don't have the information to give us a general idea of where Chris is. Elkton police hope someone has the information they need to find him. You may think it's unimportant, but believe me, it is. We'll take anything to follow up on and continue to do that and follow up on the information as it's presented to us to make sure that we hopefully do everything we can to find Chris. Chris Dietrich has a tattoo on his left calf, which reads, Pear Jam. By mistake, it was supposed to read Pearl Jam. He also has a tattoo of the San Diego Chargers logo on his left shoulder. He walks with a limp and has a swollen left foot due to ongoing health issues. And Chris's 44th birthday is December 16th. We hope we can get the information out, maybe to the public. Somebody that doesn't know anything or thinks they know anything may trigger their memory and they can contact us. Um, somebody that maybe would recognize Chris and say, oh, hey, I remember talking to him and I remember him saying X, Y, or Z. Let me call the police and tell them this information. Which could help find Chris and answers for his mother, Pam Wiseman. We want him back. I want to know what happened to him for, just because we need to know. We need some closure. Now, Chris's daughter created a charity called Chris's Cause, and for the second year in a row, his kids are collecting winter items for the homeless. They'll deliver those items on December 16th, which is their father's birthday. And for information on how to donate, just look for the story on our website, WMAR2news.com. Bringing live in Television Park, Mark Roper, WMAR2news.